यू आर वॉचिंग प्राइमरी के पंख विथ तारकेश्वर पांडे आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन टूडेज क्वीज सेशन इन दिस सेशन यू विल नो मैनी इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन विद इन टेन सेकेंड्स इन आवर टूडेज क्वीज सेशन वी विल नो अबाउट मैथमेटिक्स क्लास फाइव चैप्टर इलेवन एंड द नेम ऑफ आवर चैप्टर विल बी एरिया एंड इट्स बाउंड्री so be ready and now know one by one these important questions question number 1 what is the name for boundary of a 2d shape once again i want to repeat this very important interesting and informative question what is the name for boundary of a 2d shape think the correct answer of this question within 10 seconds the correct answer of this question will be perimeter perimeter will be the correct answer of this question so we can say that perimeter is the name for boundary of a to d shape now we will know about our next question and our next question will be question number 2 so look this question on your mobile screen area of rectangle is equals to what once again i want to repeat this question area of rectangle is equals to what think the correct answer of this question within 10 seconds the time of for this question is going to start now on your mobile screen so think fast the correct answer of this question will be length multiply breadth length multiply breadth will be the correct answer of this question so we can see that area of rectangle is equals to length multiply breadth now know the next question and our next question is question number 3 what is the other name of breadth once again i want to repeat this very important question what is the other name of breadth think the correct answer of this question within 10 seconds the timer for this question is going to start now on your mobile screen the correct answer of this question will be width width will be the correct answer of this question so we can say that width is the other name of breadth width is the other name of breadth now know the next question and our next question is question number 4 so look this question on your mobile screen perimeter of rectangle is equals to what once again i want to repeat this question perimeter of rectangle is equals to what think the correct answer of this question within 10 seconds The time of for this question is going to start now on your mobile screen so think fast The correct answer of this question will be 2 multiply length plus breadth or 2 multiply length plus 2 multiply breadth once again the perimeter of rectangle equal to 2 multiply length plus breadth or 2 multiply length plus 2 multiply breadth now know the next question length of rectangle when area is given is equals to what once again i want to repeat this question length of rectangle when area is given is equals to what think the correct answer of this question within 10 seconds the correct answer of this question will be area by breadth area by breadth will be the correct answer of this question so we can say that length of rectangle is equals to area by breadth length of rectangle is equals to area by breadth 
Now know the next question and our next question will be question number 6. So look this question on your mobile screen. Length of rectangle when perimeter is given is equals to what? Once again I want to repeat this question. Length of rectangle when perimeter is given is equals to what? Think the correct answer of this question within 10 seconds. The timer for this question is going to start now. The correct answer of this question will be perimeter by 2 minus breadth. Perimeter by 2 minus breadth will be the correct answer of this question. So we can say that length of rectangle is equals to perimeter by 2 minus breadth. Now know the next question and our next question is question number 7. Breadth of rectangle when area is given. Breadth of rectangle when area is given is equals to what? Breadth of rectangle when area is given is equals to what? Think the correct answer of this question within 10 seconds. The timer for this question is going to start now. The correct answer of this question will be area by length. Area by length will be the correct answer of this question. So we can see that breadth of rectangle is equals to area by length. Now we will know about our next question and our next question will be question number 8. Breadth of rectangle when perimeter is given is equals to what? Once again, breadth of rectangle when perimeter is given equals to what? Think the correct answer of this question within 10 seconds. The timer for this question is going to start now on your mobile screen. The correct answer of this question will be Perimeter by 2 minus length. <coughs> Perimeter by 2 minus length will be the correct answer of this question. So we can see that breadth of rectangle is equal to perimeter by 2 minus length. Now know the next question. Area of square is equal to what? Area of square is equals to what? Think the correct answer of this question within 10 seconds. The timer for this question is going to start now on your mobile screen. So think past the answer of this question. The correct answer of this question will be side multiply side. Side multiply side will be the correct answer of this question. So we can say that Area of square is equals to side multiply side. Area of square is equal to side multiply side. Now know the next question. Perimeter of square is equals to what? Once again, I want to repeat this question. Perimeter of square is equals to what? Think the correct answer of this question within 10 seconds. The timer for this question is going to start now on your mobile screen. The correct answer of this question will be 4 multiply side. 4 multiply side will be the correct answer of this question. 4 multiply side will be the correct answer of this question. So we can say that perimeter of square is equals to 4 multiply side. Now know the next question. Each side of square when perimeter is given is equals to what? Once again, I want to repeat this question. Each side of square when perimeter is given is equals to what? Think the correct answer of this question within 10 seconds. The timer is going to start now. <laughs> the 
the correct answer of this question will be perimeter by four perimeter by four will be the correct answer of this question so we can say that each side of square is equal to perimeter by four now we will know about our next question and our next question will be question number 12 what is the largest length of a rectangle <coughs> once again i want to repeat this question what is the largest length of a rectangle think the correct answer of this question within 10 seconds the timer for this question is going to start now on your mobile screen The correct answer of this question will be diagonal. Diagonal will be the correct answer of this question. So we can see that the largest length of a rectangle will be diagonal. Or diagonal will be the largest length of a rectangle. Now know the next question. Question number 13. Find the area of a rectangle whose length is 15 cm and breadth is 8 cm. Once again, Find the area of a rectangle whose length is 15 cm and breadth is 8 cm. Think the correct answer of this question within 10 seconds. The timer is going to start now. The correct answer of this question will be 120 square cm. 120 square centimeter will be the correct answer of this question so we can see that the area of a rectangle whose length is 15 centimeter and breadth is 8 centimeter will be 120 square centimeter now know the next question find the perimeter of a rectangle whose length is 12 centimeter and breadth is 8 centimeter once again find the perimeter of a rectangle whose length is 12 centimeter and breadth is 8 centimeter Think the answer of this question within 10 seconds. The correct answer of this question will be 40 cm. 40 cm will be the correct answer of this question. So we can see that. 40 cm will be perimeter of a rectangle whose length is 12 cm and breadth is 8 cm. Now know the next question. Question number 15. Find the area of a square whose each side is 6 cm. Once again, I want to repeat this question. Find the area of a square whose each side is 6 cm. Think the correct answer of this question within 10 seconds. The timer for this question is going to start now on your mobile screen. The correct answer of this question will be 36 square centimeter. 36 square centimeter will be the correct answer of this question. So we can say that the area of a square whose each side is 6 centimeter will be 36 square centimeter. Now know the next question and our next question is question number 16. Find the length of a rectangle whose area is 640 square meter and breadth is 20 meter. Once again, I want to repeat this question. Find the length of a rectangle whose area is 640 square meter and breadth is 20 meter. Think the correct answer of this question within 10 seconds. The correct answer of this question will be 32 meter. 32 meter will be the correct answer of this question. So we can see that 32 meter will be the length of a rectangle whose area is 640 square meter and breadth is 20 meter. Now next question. Find the breadth of a rectangle whose perimeter is 360 meter and length is 130 meter. Once again, find the breadth of a rectangle whose perimeter is 360 meter and length is 130 meter. Think the correct answer of this question within 10 seconds. The timer is going to start now. The 
correct answer of this question will be 50 meter. 50 meter will be the correct answer of this question. So we can say that 50 meter will be the breadth of a rectangle whose perimeter is 360 meter and length is 130 meter. Now know the next question and our next question will be question number 18. Find the each side of a square whose perimeter is 120 meter. Once again, I want to repeat this question. Find the each side of a square whose perimeter is 120 meter. Think the correct answer of this question within 10 seconds. The timer is going to start now. The correct answer of this question will be 30 meter. 30 meter will be the correct answer of this question. So we can see that 30 meter will be the each side of a square whose perimeter is 120 meter. Now know the next question and our next question is question number 19. Which side of, his, of a rectangle is always large? Once again, I want to repeat this very important, interesting and informative question. Which side of a rectangle always found large? Which side of a rectangle is always found large? Think the correct answer of this question within 10 seconds. The correct answer of this question will be length. Length will be the correct answer of this question. So we can say that length of a rectangle is always large. Now know the next question and our next question is question number 20. This is the last question of this video. One hectare is equal to dash square meter. Once again, I want to repeat this question. One hectare is equals to dash square meter. Think the correct answer of this question within 10 seconds. The correct answer of this question will be 10,000. 10,000 will be the correct answer of this question. So we can say that 1 hectare is equals to 10,000 square meter. 1 hectare is equal to 10,000 square meter. After finishing this question, we have finished total 20 questions of our chapter number 11, Area and its Boundary. So revise these all questions and their answers. We will meet shortly with chapter number 12, Smart Charts. So for that time, goodbye.